Hello, my name is Peter Rosthorn, and I'm putting together a step-by-step -step guide to help the non-technical person implement open badges. You can find the step-by-step -step guide on the Mozilla Wiki by following the URL mozilla.org slash badges slash step-by-step. You can see the step-by-step -step guide is going to have a number of chapters, and as I develop each chapter, I'm going to be posting a screencast and we'll be making some references through blog posts and other announcements. The chapters go from a very introductory how to get yourself a badge and how to familiarize yourself with the badge's infrastructure, but then it'll get a little bit more technical and explain what you need to be able to be an issuer, an earner, and a displayer of badges. I'll touch a little bit on the infrastructure that's required to host what you need, and then also get into how you claim and organize your badges. The first step of this course is really do a whole bunch of reading. Um, there's been a lot of people focused on developing the open badges infrastructure and you'll find that there's no shortage of good blog posts and good references on wikis and, and papers that have been written. One in particular that's been put together recently is by Sonny who works with the open badges team and as you can see here it's really focused on how to get started and how to learn, and a number of great references pointing at the website and at the wiki, but also a couple of uh, white papers and looking at the idea of a competition that was put together to try and further develop the Open Badges infrastructure, uh, a bunch of user stories and where the source code is and things like that. So I strongly suggest that you take a look at this blog post if you want a, a really good sort of laundry list of all the best URLs to look at as you're becoming more familiar with the Open Badges infrastructure. I've also put together a, a blog post, but it was really taken from the perspective of, of my reading and what I've learned and, and the sort of the, the whole landscape of Open Badges. And as you can see, this post really gets into it from uh, a more technical perspective um, to the point of actually looking at a little bit of the JSON uh, messaging structure uh, for issuing a badge. But as we proceed, you can see the best place to start is to look at the openbadges.org page. And you can see here that there's a number of links that can go into talking about the issuer, the earner, and the displayer. There's even a place here for you to get started and issue yourself your own first badge. I strongly suggest that you go through the process of claiming a badge. It sort of really starts to get your head into how the whole infrastructure works. After taking a look at the Open Badges, you also want to take a look at the Open Badges Wiki. Um, the Wiki has an awful lot of resources that are available to you. Um, as you can see here, there's a high-level description uh, of what the Badges project is, takes a look at who the team members are, um, really gets into a complete comprehensive list of all the links and resources that are available to you, all the way from you know, different Twitter handles to where the IRC is, and and where the Google group is and things like that. Also, another another good list of, of URLs to take a look at. Um, so once you get yourself through the, the wiki, um, you'll also find that there's many other um, areas to get information. One of the great things is that the Open Badges group is having a community call, so you can take the take the time and, and, and jump into um, logging into a community call. Uh, it's open. Uh, you need no login to get in. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, well worth your time. Um, get contact directly with the developers and, and, and the people working with the, the badges team. There's also an amazing Google group um, that is, is having a very comprehensive discussion about open badges. Uh, I think one of the great things about this is that the group contains both the uh, technical people that are, are writing the code for open badges, but also some uh, very strong academics um, who are, are giving some very, very deep thought about how open badges should be implemented from, from a, an academic and institutional perspective. But also you have some, some reformers and outliers in this group that's also talking about other ways that badges can be implemented and utilized um, to recognize uh, knowledge and, and, and uh, learning. 
You can also hear, uh, once you get yourself through the first bit of reading and looking at the Google group and community calls, also the, the whole GitHub environment is available to you where the Open Badges source code is, is being hosted. And as you can see here, the, the all documentation from a more technical perspective, look at who the team is. But if you really want to get into it from an Open Badges perspective, you can see, take a look at all of the source code that's also available on the GitHub um, about Open Badges and, and feel free to uh, download, make a pull, do whatever you want to do. But uh, it's all open source, it's all open to you to play with and, and, and become familiar with. Um, as you get even further on, you can take a look at, at, again, as I say, the source code. The other neat thing about what's going on with Open Badges is there's a number of people that have started to contribute and create related, uh, related um, source code to either issue badges or to work with the badges in different programming environments. Again, you can take a look at these and look at the source code here. So if you're really wanting to dive into open badges, you can look at the way that other people have implemented uh, and solved, solved their problems uh, in code um, to issue badges and, and the like. One of the really neat things about what's available to you also is what's known as the uh, open badges uh, validator. Um, the validator here gives you the ability that once you've figured out your JSON, you can take a put it paste it into the to the validator and get it set that that's formatted correctly. So what we have here is this idea: is if this is a correctly formatted message for uh, open badges, uh, you can see I can I can copy and paste this into the validator, and it will check that it is formatted correctly and has the correct elements and, and, and uh, it, it would be accepted by uh, the issuer API um, as you start playing around with how the JSON works in relationship to the Open Badges infrastructure. So once you get through that, I strongly suggest that you just sort of plug yourself into the community of Open Badges. There's a number of, of, of uh, as I've become quite used to, is a very smart group of people that, that have spent a lot of time understanding the idea of badges and, and how they should be issued and, and uh, issues around badge systems design and, and, and how the impact and changes that badges could provide. So just find the people that are working with open badges, follow them on Twitter, on different areas, find out where their blogs are and keep up with their reading and things like that. Um, the thing that's also quite interesting is is that this group of people is in shying away from looking at the critical side of open badges and are openly and, and, and frequently looking at both sides of open badges so you, you're also able to find critical views of what's going on within open badges. So there you have it. The uh, first step of, of open badges and uh, sort of onboarding yourself. There's no shortage of resources that can be had. And if you really want to sort of get engaged in, in deepening your learning once you've done all this reading, I strongly suggest that you spend a little bit of time and get into the Open Badges 101, which is a course uh, at P2P University. And there's a great group of people there. It'll help you along if you have any struggles. Um, but as you can see here, the, 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 the Open Badges 101 course, as it's called, has a, has a number of, of challenges that you can go through to deepen your understanding of open badges. And um, it's all open, it's all free, and a great group of peers that will help you be successful. So look forward to seeing you again. Um, the next sort of screencast I'll be putting together is about going out and claiming yourself a badge. So stay in touch and, and I will uh, hopefully have a wonderful set of screencasts put together on how to introduce yourself to the Open Badges infrastructure.